Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day for me. It is October 1st. You guys won't be seeing this video for a while, but today it all starts for me. I am going to be doing Lauren Geraldo's 12 3 30 for 30 days as a little health challenge to myself. Today is day one. Let me just lay it out for you guys. I have been feeling really bad about myself. I am above my ideal weight for my height and everything, which I know it's not about the numbers. So that's just, is not what this is about for me, but I just haven't been feeling good lately. A lot of my clothes are getting a little tight. I feel kind of flabby, not toned, sluggish, and like I've been out of the gym for way too long and just not feeling good about myself. That's pretty much it. And I wanted to do something to kind of kickstart feeling a little bit better about myself. This is a challenge to kickstart myself back into a healthy lifestyle. It's not about the weight, it's not about anything like that for me. It's about feeling good, feeling good in my own skin, and feeling like I'm healthy. So if you don't know, 12-3-30 is a treadmill exercise where you do the incline at 12, the speed at 3, and you do it for 30 minutes. I have done it before and it's no joke. It doesn't even sound hard. But like it's actually not that easy at all it's pretty exhausting and you definitely break a sweat the most i've ever done it is like two days in a row so this is gonna be fun i'm gonna try it for 30 days straight no breaks and i just kind of hope putting it on film will hold me accountable in a way i'm gonna show you guys my measurements and just kind of how i look now and see if we see any transformations we're gonna see how I'm feeling. I'm going to take you through every day. I've got my October calendar here, so I'm going to cross off every day in October that I do it, and every day I'm going to rate difficulty and my mood, so how I'm feeling that day and how hard 12 3 30 was for me that day. For my diet, I do want to get that together as well, so I am going to try to eat a little bit healthy. I'm going to try and be a little bit better about that, but not super strict because I don't want to overwhelm myself since I'm just getting back into it. Our goal is the 12 3 30 every day that's the goal if i have some extra energy i can throw in a lift if i'm feeling really good i can eat healthy but i'm not going to punish myself if i eat a cookie or something you know if you want to see how it goes keep on watching make sure that you subscribe for all the content and leave a comment down below i always respond let me know if you love lauren geraldo as much as i do am i even saying her last name right geraldo lauren geraldo i don't know She's iconic, I love her. Let's get my measurements. So here is what I'm looking like right now, unflexed. Flexing, trying to look cute. Now let's do my measurements. 29 is 40, 24.5, 10.5, 14.75, 12.75. This is not only the Lauren Geraldo 12 3 30 challenge, but this is just me trying to get my health together. We're starting it off with the 12 3 30 challenge every day. I know I can do it. So let's go ahead and head over and hop on the treadmill. Halfway done. Dying. I did it. Sweaty. It is obviously quite a bit later. I am showered. It's still October 1st. It's about 5.30, so I'm about to hop on Zoom for class, but I wanted to run you down day one. I'm still in good spirits. I'm still really excited about it. I'm motivated to go again tomorrow for day two, so I'm not having given up, but I would say the plateaus that I hit on the treadmill are around like seven minutes. At seven minute mark, I'm like, Oh my god, I'm only a quarter of the way done and I'm dying. And then once I get past that, it's kind of a plateau. And then I would say I hit another one at like 18 to 20 minutes. That's where I'm like, oh, like sweating. It's starting to bead down me. I'm like really, really hot and dying. But then once I get over the 20 minute mark, I'm like, okay, 
you're in the single digit minutes like let's do this you have nine minutes left like you can do this so for me those are like my two plateau areas but it really makes me sweat as you guys probably saw in the clips and it makes me feel really good after it's just a good 30 minute like quick burnout so yeah day one is complete i will keep you guys updated probably every few days with how things are going let's roll the next few days totally hitting my 12 minute plateau i mean 20 minute day four i felt really good today i already feel more fit day four complete Day eight complete, I'm on my iPhone, but I'm feeling really good. I literally feel way more fit. There are definitely some days where I'm dying, but today was a good one. Day eight was good. It went by really fast. I was at 20 minutes and I was like, whoa, it's already there. Sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Sometimes I feel like I'm dying at five minutes, but yeah, I can definitely tell that I'm just overall feeling a lot more fit and it's only day eight. We're about a quarter of a way done. You guys, it's day 11, it's Sunday. It's like a six o'clock almost. I look terrible because I am extremely hungover. I went out last night for the first time in months since March, like literally. So this was really hard for me. And I was like begging Christ to come to the gym with me today, but he's like sleeping. So here I am at the gym on a Sunday night hungover to do 12, 3.30. This is gonna be a rough one, but I'm really proud of myself for sticking it out. Hi guys, 12, 3.30 update here. So it is day 17 now. I still have to go to the gym today, but yesterday was the 16th, which I'm gonna be honest. So I ended up doing an outdoor walk just because I didn't have access to a gym. Even my parents for the weekend. They have a gym, but it wasn't open by the time I got there. So I just didn't have access to a gym. So I ended up doing a 30 minute outdoor walk, which I know is not the same, but it is better than skipping a day in my opinion. But yeah, so day 17, that's only one day that's been, it's not even missed, it's just different. But I'm gonna go to the gym today, do day 17. But now that I'm halfway through, I've got about 13 days left. I feel, I sleep a lot better. I feel healthier. I still bring a good sweat during the workout, but I've lost, like five pounds but i think it's water weight you know but i think i'm still really interested to see like my measurements at the end we'll see what ends up happening but i just wanted to give you guys a little midpoint update i already feel a lot more healthy i already feel like i have a habit like i just feel like it's like i'm going to the gym today it's what i do you know like i'm back into that routine so i'm feeling pretty good let's see what happens the next 13 days been 30 days i'm about to show you guys my after and do my after measurements and then in a few days i'll do my like reflection on the whole experience but let's see what we look like after 30 days i put on the same bra so that it could be like kind of easy to see differences hopefully been getting on the scale I lost anywhere between 8 and 10 pounds it's kind of fluctuating but yeah definitely lost some weight and let's compare my measurements hey guys so it is October 31st first day in 30 days I don't have to go to the gym and do cardio so I just wanted to talk to you about this little 30-day challenge that I did really quick Overall, I honestly really loved it. It made me feel really fit, really powerful. Like I had my stuff together because I was going to the gym every day and I'm definitely not gonna stop doing the cardio. I think I wanna keep incorporating it and doing it twice a week now. So I'm gonna try and do like a workout, like lift three times a week and then do the 12, 3, 30, two times a week. 
and who knows maybe I'll even try to do a higher incline or do like 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes but overall I was sleeping so much better while I was doing it. I lost between 8 and 10 pounds. I was eating a little bit healthier but I just overall felt so much better and you guys saw my before and after and my measurements but yeah so I really love it. Love Lauren, still love watching her channel and I totally suggest doing a challenge like this. It just makes you feel good and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you guys so soon in my next one. Bye guys.